Hello. All right, so they are going to have you just fill out your information on this iPad, and then we'll do the blood draw, and we'll get you scheduled. Okay. Super easy. Let me cool. know if you want to tour of the place. Yeah, I kind of want to see it all. I want to see it all, yeah. So we used to have a coffee shop, which we're currently working on getting back up, along with food. So we'll have that. We do a lot of keto, or we used to do a lot of keto meals. Okay. So in here, where you'll, this is where you're going to get your blood work done. Okay. So you'll see that. And then we just have a couple different rooms where we do different services or nutrition consults. Mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> Um, so we do like laser really nice. treatments. This is Dr. Yeah. Redman. Hey. Dr. Redman. How are you? Anthony. Anthony. Anthony Brian Redman. Nice, nice to meet you. So I told him I like you that. have a strong interest in watches. Yeah, no Me doubt. Too. <laughs> yeah. Me too. I like yeah. the AP. Thank you. Just got yeah. us wig it. Okay. Panda, that's like one of my favorites. That's probably going to be the first Royal Oak I get. Yeah. I've, I've, I've had a bunch, or I've, I've owned a bunch for inventory yeah. and I've tried them all on, but that's my favorite. That's the first one I think I'm going to own. Yeah. I've, so. I've, Kind of lucked into it last week, and so oh, I'm really? to jump, in, jump on the opportunity. Yeah. At, at Highland Park AP? Yeah, yeah. Nice. That's a good piece. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So. Yeah, I'm a huge watch guy, so we'd love to talk further. Well, we're the, I'm, the, I'm the right guy. Yeah, there you go. There you go. We'll talk to you in a minute. So this is where um, we do all of our IV therapy, and then behind this curtain where you can't see, it's just a long haul, but we also do massages we just started, okay. and so we have a nice massage room right there. I need to book one of those. I need a deep tissue so bad. Oh, she can do it. Yeah. Tara, she's awesome. So we do, like I said, the yeah, blood like work, hormone weeks. therapy, IV therapy. We do hydrofacials. Okay, good. Thank you. Massages. Right, um, we have M Sculpt, which is something that helps you burn fat and build muscle. And okay. then um, laser treatments. Yeah. So, I know. We do a lot. We do a lot. Too. No kidding. So we do facials too. Okay, I need to book a yeah, facial so and a massage. That you just saw in the hallway. She actually is the one that does those. Okay. Well, before I leave, I want to book one of those and a massage also because yeah. I need some self-care. And then um, we'll schedule that consult with Dr. Redman, um, but we'll probably do it at his other location where he offices out of. Okay. All right. Appreciate it. Yeah. So you've been over here six months? Yeah. It's been pretty good. I like it. Nice. So you haven't done your blood work before? No, I was, was going to do like it. It's been a long time? Nope. Never done it. Never. I was going to do it a, a few months ago, and then things changed and didn't do it. Hey, did we sell that Brightly Navitimer, the gold one? Yes, sold yesterday to a gentleman named... Okay, how much? Yeah. Uh, it sold for $14,300. Have we paid for it already? No, not yet, because we haven't gotten the money in yet from the uh, customer. Okay, so, all right. Yeah. Did you send me an yeah. email with all the uh, wires that are going out? There's also a wire for 75000 Get Marco's info. We've got to pay for that uh, 15202 I'm going to look through all of these. James Cameron, James Cameron, Fluted Jubilee, Ladies Date Just, OP41, Consignment, Grand Seiko. Wait, didn't we already pay for that Grand Seiko? No, we, yeah, because if you look at the wires, I read the wires off to him yesterday that we paid, and I'm pretty sure that green bezel was already on there. I'll tell you which ones we've paid for. So we've paid for a Smurf, we've paid for a Sky Dweller, a Panerai Radomir, Rolex Day Date, Rolex Day Date. No, I'm talking about the ones from... Dude, look, it's right here. Grand Seiko GMT Sport, 4,500. We haven't paid that yet. Yeah, we did. That's the wire you already sent. We sent those April 26th. There was a 37,008 to Irving. Yes, 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 absolutely. Dude, I need you to double check these. I don't want to be paying for the same watches twice. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree, absolutely. So we did, on the 26th, we paid 4,500 for the GMT. My bad, it's my miss. Can you go through that list? I'm gonna forward this email. Go through this. I, please double check that, dude. Luckily, I was reading through these yesterday because I called, so I caught that. I don't want to pay him. I don't want to pay people twice. Then you've got two Date Just 41s on here. Haven't we paid this guy? No, we haven't paid him yet. Are you sure? 100, 100%. Yeah, take out the Zenith, the Phi, the IWC. We sure the black ceramic. Have we been paid on that? Yeah. Dude, uh, look. Okay, dude. We've already paid for that IWC also. It's in this email. Top Gun IWC Black Ceramic. 
All right, don't send any wires. We're going to go over all these because I don't want I, I feel like we're paying for double watches now. Okay. All right. All right, I'll be back at the office in 30 minutes. Okay. All right, bye. Hello? Hey, uh, is Trent with you? No, he's not. He's upstairs. Can you have, can you go get him, have him come down and meet me and Marco at Ascension? Yeah, I can. Is everything all right? Uh, yeah, just have him come down for me and talk to him. All right, sounds good. I'll do it. All right, all right, bye. Looks like we're going to go get Trent. Alfred, can you watch the store real quick? Yeah. Have you guys eaten lunch today? Uh, breakfast. Breakfast? I had a bagel as usual. Ascension. Hey, Trent. Uh, Mark and Anthony want to talk to you at Ascension. Told me to mic you up. Awesome, let's do it. about Dude, going down here to talk to him. Your hair looks crispy. <laughs> looks really good. Brittany, Brittany got me right. Brittany? Yep, scotch and scissors. Nine? Scissors and scotch, whichever one it is. Scotch and bourbon. Ready. It's this one right here. One, two. Oh, no. Oh, what's that, dude? Uh, okay. Um, we're in a video because it's like a learning experience, but how do you... What do you think of the job so far? Love it. I love every part of it. I have no complaints. Do you feel like there's areas you could improve on? Or? Yeah. Okay. What, um, do, you, what do you think the areas you can improve on are? Uh, making sure all the information is right the first time I post it. Are you figuring out how to like properly cross-check information? Do you feel like you're kind of getting a hang of that? Yes. Okay. One of the biggest issues is like, I'm looking, I look through the website every day and like this picture, I know I've I've mentioned it multiple times. Dylan's mentioned it a few times. I've also gone and I've, you know, we've had issues like there's not enough pictures. The titles don't match the descriptions. The titles are wrong. The descriptions are wrong. It's, we've had a lot of calls about it continuously. Yeah. Um, where we're at is you're young. Yeah. You've got a lot of ambition. You've got a lot of time ahead of you. Uh, us as a company, we're growing really, really fast. We need people that are on quick, top of stuff, quick like, on their feet, quick on their sure. feet. And, and, you know, the reason we have so many positions that we're filling is that to take loads off of our plate. Now I find myself at night back up doing this job, going through, checking descriptions, checking prices, correcting mistakes, removing watches that are sold. It's just, we need someone that can can fill that void without me having to think about it because it stresses me out and Marco and I have enough on our plate. Absolutely. I think you've got a lot of potential. I think there's something out there that's going to be a good fit for you. I don't think this is it. I We've appreciated the time that, we, that you've been here, but we're going to let you go. I understand. Just nah, kidding. we're not like that. Oh, I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> I was like, you fucked up, all the time. <laughs> wow, y'all got me good. I was like, ah. Oh, wow. Oh, man. That was funny. Oh, man. Oh, wow. He took it like a champ, though. He was like, all right, whatever. <laughs> I mean, I said it from the beginning. If anything yeah. didn't work out, I was going to. Yeah. No, dude, there's little. There's, dude, there's, there's, there's little mistakes. He's like, I got money in the bank. I don't yeah, he's like, Guys, I just got my inheritance. <laughs> yeah. He's like, how do I invest? <laughs> now y'all work for me. I no. guess it's on to the AD game now. <laughs> yeah, I, maybe you'll be bigger than us. Yeah. Uh, no, actually, happy birthday. We want to take you out tonight to Nick and Sam's. So the whole crew's got dinner plans at 8.
We also have the bone and filet by itself. Very juicy, very tender. One of our signature cuts for $85. Now, if you follow me on this 11 inch rib bone all the way to our 30 ounce long bone tiger ribeye, we also call this our tomahawk. We'll serve the side with a sauteed spinach and black truffle butter. It is 20 ounces off the bone, perfect to share between two or three people for $110. You get dinner and a weapon. I've been going on and I'm looking at Material Good New York, Avi & Co, looking at every, every jeweler that's out there and looking at their space and I'm saving pictures of the stuff I like. Like Material Good, they have a bad lounge that has these beauties, those bookcases that has a big ladder. That's one thing I like. My idea, is, my idea is to send you everything that we like. I mean, he's going to get pictures, I'm going to get pictures of all the stuff we like, we'll just kind of combine you put it together. Best. This is going to be our baby, so this will be our number one focus. The okay. sales guys, their job is to run the store. When we get this locked in, this is 150% our focus. Okay, cool. I'm and I want it open, that. and I I'm want it open as that. fast as possible. I'm 21. Um, my basically my whole family is actually pretty deep in the jewelry industry. Okay. So uh, I kind of starts off with my father actually. So he actually was a diamond like senior buyer for Tiffany Co. back in 1980. So that's okay. kind of how we like started it off and everything. 
in 1980, he would literally get sent to Dubai, he'd get sent to India, and he'd literally buy thousands and thousands of carrots for Tiffany & Co, who would later you know, be placing them in the settings that you would you know, see in the Tiffany & Co shops. So he did that for about eight years or so, and then give or take around 1988 was when he met my mom, who was okay. also- 88? Yeah, 1988. My birth year. That's crazy. <laughs> 33 years ago. Yeah, exactly. So he met my mom, um, and they, my mom was also in the jewelry industry as well. But, right. however, she was gold, meaning that like all the Asian people, they like 24 karat. Right. Meaning that it's like pure gold, it's not, there's no mixed alloy, it's as pure as you get. It's like right. as if you literally went to the ground, you picked up gold, and you just started making something. Right. <laughs> so that's what she, like her side of the family was doing. Okay. And so with my dad's side of the family, um, my dad was the only like, I guess, jeweler or just anything in the jewelry industry. So, you kind of see how the perfect matching kind of happens right. here, right? Because diamonds, gold. Diamonds, gold Boom, there you go. Hi, buddy. Doing good? Yeah. So this is, this is the dynasty. This is the dynasty. This is actually one, one part of the dynasty. I know, that's what yeah. he's saying. So this is going to be my parents' shop. Okay. And so upstairs is going to be my brother's shop. Okay. Next door is going to be my other brother's shop. Yeah. Next door is going to be my office. <laughs> yeah. There's this more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so right now this is like my office. I closed it because I'm like running out okay. of stuff. Okay, right. But yeah, this is my brother's shop. Nice. This is going to be the new shop. We're actually remodeling and everything. So we have a whole plan layout and whatnot. So it'll be really sick. Nice. Um, and then I'll show you the manufacturing as well. Okay. The main manufacturing is going to be up there. Okay. See all that? Yeah, all the way up there. Yeah. Let me show you, let me show you some of the stuff in here real quick yeah. and I'll show you what it, what it looks like up there. Yeah, dude, please. So starting from this side, it's going to be all like 14 karat, all 18 karat. Okay. Um, you'll notice that we don't so actually have a lot of 14 karat or 18 karat. Yeah. Um, most of it is going to be over here and then on the wall. Well, okay. Right? But our main thing is 24 karat. So with 24 karat, like I said yesterday, it's pure, as pure gold as you can get. You can't get any more pure than that. Dude, I want a rose gold. Yeah, I know. We can definitely do that, dude. Um, this is gold. insane. Yeah. From here this. on, it's all 24 karat. From here on? From here on, from all the way here, it's all pure 24 karat. Wow. Yeah, the chain's going from like 200 grams to one kilo. I just want to show you a really, really thick chain. It's about yeah. 700 grams. Okay. Of just, it's, Called our signature dragon chain, and it's just okay. It's just a thick, thick dragon chain that has 38 inches all the way on. It's just real na natural diamonds. There's no CZ. Wow. There's no like CBD. Nothing. Yeah. It's all real natural diamonds. That's awesome. Pure. That's cool. Carrier. And this is actually it's functional too. So it's not like it's just for show. Right. You can actually unlock it. Look at that. Oh. Pure 24 karat gold purses. Mm -hmm. and it's super intricate. So it's not like. It's not like, you know, it's just mesh pieces mesh together. Wow. And like, you know, it's very, very intricate details. The only thing that's not 24 karat is going to be this part here. It's about 22 karat. Oh, okay. So, I mean, it's, it's oh, still, well, then, well, I now mean, I don't want it. It's 22 karat, but I mean, you know, mm -hmm. you, there has to be something to hold it there, so. Does that look good? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think anybody would notice? There you go. This is next to a Date 840, so. Wow. It's like, it is huge. Wow. <laughs> Let's see. Would you like an all gold purse? <laughs> what if I like? What if I went shopping? More expensive than the Birkin. There you go. This is how you it's go. This is how you go shopping at Ida. And then you can get your money back on this basket. Too. This is how you shop at IWJ. You're like, I'll have that. Hang on. Uh, here, give me that. <laughs> That's awesome. So, ladies, mom and daughter gifts. If you need some solid 18 or 24 karat gold purses, I got you. My boys got you. What do you have? In, what size comparison? I'll have you make me one. I got good. What's one of these, Ron? So everything, everything depends on the weight of it. The weight so of it. The weight is out, and then it's gonna be by the price per gram. Sure. I want that them. exact size in rose gold. This exact size. In yeah. Rose gold. I'll show you the price of this. And okay. What it's being rose gold. Okay. That's too big for me. That's I mean, massive. Too, small. too big. It's too small. <laughs> that's too big. That's massive. I mean, it looks bad, but that's that's, that's way too big for yeah. me. I'm supposed to be buying watches, not not presents. Yeah, you get that. That's that's my cost to that. For the twenty-four For in rose gold? no, for rose gold that's gonna be a little different Okay. Oh really? Okay, yeah. We're gonna base it off of the exact same weight. Okay. It should be actually a little bit. They would, it should weigh less actually. Okay. Yeah. I'll take one. Cool. This is my brother John. What's up, man? Anthony. John. Um, what my brother's doing now is he's actually engraving like our, our hallmark on each of these rings. 
And it, this is the same machine that Tiffany, Cartier, they all use the exact same machine. It's about a quarter million dollars. And it engraves on the spot. And then we have nice. this little vacuum as well. So the vacuum, obviously when you're engraving something, yeah. you're removing gold. Right. And so that is money. Right, of course. <laughs> so you're gonna go ahead and vacuum all that up and then we actually sell <laughs> we sell bags of gold. Yeah, gold I've actually I actually buy watches from a gold guy in yeah. Dallas that does that. They yep. jewelers <laughs> bring him bags and yep. bags of gold, barrels yep. of yep. stuff, and it's amazing Sometimes how much gold. It's, it's not even gold. Sometimes it's a bunch of mixed stuff and you kinda have to just estimate okay. Sort exactly. Yeah, sort, sort the gold out, yeah. This is the manufacturing. So again, like I said, about it's Sunday today, so about half the people aren't really here. Right. These are normally where all the polishes are. Yes. Yeah. Everything all done in here as well. Now we're out. He's cleaning up the piece here now. And this the piece he's cleaning up actually is gonna be in twenty four carats. Okay. So not very many people can just touch 24 karat and be like, oh, I know what I'm doing. Right. It's a very, very like specific um, technique that you have to do for each other. You know what I mean? In this case, it's what you call preset. Preset okay. is when the diamonds are already have, already has prongs next to it. And all you have to do is bend those prongs in. And so sometimes there's a situation where what you call drilled, where you have to drill every single stone in. Well, all, again, all by hand. So, right. Mm -hmm. Hey, right now. What's up, man? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Where, where's my chair? Where's my chair and shoes? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so he's also designing something as well. He has a 3D scanner next to him. So in the case that we ever need to wrap something, meaning that let's say they have a piece of jade or whatever it may be, he actually scans that jade. Okay. And we can import it into our actual uh, software. Uh, what After something's printed, you have to get it into gold now, right? Okay. Gold, from wax to gold, that process is called casting. Okay. So casting everything all over here. You have the whole machinery, everything all here, just specifically to do casting. Yeah. That is the, uh, that is the little uh, empire. <laughs> oh, hey, I'll tell you what, somewhere on the, uh, on that, that bracelet you're gonna make for me, yeah. engrave the date and okay. your initials, okay. or something. Because I'm yeah. gonna keep it. It's like a souvenir or like a keepsake of this. Yeah. Because we're gonna do a, we're gonna do a lot of business together. So that's gonna be like my uh, I don't know my mem I don't know what do you, memorabilia yeah, yeah. piece kind of like, for that oh, hey. for that for our first deal. Yeah, exactly. Because we uh, sold May second. May second, yeah. Yeah, May second. <clears throat> All right, start that over. You're just telling me about how your dad yeah. came up. So he's uh, 21, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Mind blowing. Yeah. Um, so anyway, yeah, but I was just telling them uh, that I really, really go to my dad. So he came to America like 1970s and stuff, and he came with twenty dollars and my aunt, uncles and my grandma and grandpa. And for him to kind of build this little empire of where he started off with just half of that store to if you now can't, to put it into perspective, <laughs> all of the like all of this, <laughs> and basically all of this, all of that, and all that side. <laughs> is his family's dynasty. It's like, it's, it's like McDonald's. McDonald's empire for jewelry. Yeah. <laughs> Can I? Okay. So I want to ask a question. You don't have to answer it if you want. If you don't want to. Yeah. No worries. Um, what would you say, volume-wise and inventory, all of your operations in this area, yeah. uh, carry? Minimum, minimum for sure, five hundred million. Five hundred million. Minimum, minimum, minimum. Like just, wow. just in diamonds alone. No, that's what they carry. That's what you carry in inventory. In inventory. Yeah. In minimum, minimum. Okay, wow. just just in diamonds alone, we have about almost about 10.12 million. Okay. Uh, and just diamonds that were stocked ready. So when it comes to like, especially in LA, with the jewelry. No, wait, you said 10 million in diamonds. You mean 100? About, no, about 10. Just 10 just, just just in diamonds alone. The rest oh, of it is 24 carat. It's all the rest gold. Of it is okay. Finished gotcha. jewelry. Okay. The rest of it, you know what I mean? That's a lot of gold. It, no, it's a it's lot. A lot of gold. What you saw was just a small percentage. I probably. <laughs> God. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, that's cool, dude, man. I've been, I've enjoyed the tour, the, hearing your story last night and hearing and seeing this. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, so I appreciate the tour. You and I, of like I said, I want you to initial, I want you to put your initials on that uh, bracelet you're going to make for yeah. me and put the, put today's date. Yeah. Cause it's going to, it's going to commemorate, even though we did our first deal yesterday, yep. this is going to commemorate it and we're going to do a lot of business together. So. Yes. In the Very meantime, exciting. you're telling me about a spot we're gonna go have lunch at. Yes, we're gonna have it. Like, uh, actually, be right across the street. It's called Yang Chow. So, go Yang ahead. Chow it is. Mm -hmm. Here we go. All right, dinner's over. Now it's time to do some shopping. So we've got the Explorer One, Two Tone Sea Dweller, Two Tone Daytona. Blue Sky, Black Sky, 
two-tone root beer and a sub. So on the Explorer, I'm at 8,500. On the Sea Dweller, we were at 14,000. On the two-tone Daytona, I'm at 17,000. Black Sky Dweller, 16,000. Blue Sky Dweller, 22.5. Root beer, 17,000, and the date sub, 10.5. So, do 107. Okay, deal. Okay, and I can send you a label to have those shipped, and cash is cool. I'll give you some cash. All right. All right, guys, it is the end of week 17 and jumping right into the numbers because I'm excited. This has absolutely been the best week we've ever had on record. Um, if you're following along every week, you know we have a sales goal and this quarter the sales goal is $538,462 a week in sales we like to accomplish to keep us on track to hit 35 million by the end of the year. This week, we surpassed that goal by 117% coming in with $1,167,050 in sales, uh, 30 watches, 23 of which went to retail, seven of which, seven of which went to wholesale, netting us $79,610.18 in profit. Now, backtracking, so that's the end of April. Uh, if you wanna go back to the beginning of the year, 35 million is our goal for the end of the year. Through April 30th to date, we have done 7,685,000 in sales, $880, leaving us with the remaining uh, goal of 27,314,120 left to go. Of that 7.6 million, $595,950.87 has been profit, it's, which is about 12.7, let's see, 12.73% ROI. So, not a bad not a bad year so far 600,000 in profit at 12% return we're doing pretty well uh, so far we've done 343 watches at about an average of $22,173 per unit so we're on track we're also coming into May which is when the season starts to pick up a little bit so I'm excited to see where the rest of this year goes you've also seen we're still looking at a new location we've put in another proposal the Crescent turned down our previous proposal we weren't the right fit Apparently there's another restaurant going in there. That's okay. Uh, we went looking. We found a building across the street, which we're absolutely in love with. So we're waiting to hear back. Hopefully by the time this video airs or within a day or so, we will get word back. We have potentially teamed up with a designer. We're gonna go to town and make this uh, mo the most incredible shopping retail experience you've ever seen, guys. So stay tuned. You'll definitely hear a lot more about it in the next video. Thank you.